An interesting criminal case in the United States includes a man murdering a much older woman for her money. What makes this case stand out is that the murderer was so well-liked and the victim so disliked. The prosecutor couldn't find anyone willing to cooperate to put him behind bars for the crime. This is the story of Bernie Teed and the murder of Marjorie Nugent. Bernhard Teed II was born in rural town of Tyler, Texas on August 2, 1958. His father was a university professor and his mother died in a car accident when he was just two years old. His dad would remarry but passed away when Bernie was 15. Eventually, he would move to Carthage, Texas, where he would get a job as an assistant director of a funeral home. Bernie Teed was extremely popular in town as he was apparently one of the nicest and most polite people you could ever meet. He would meet a woman named Marjorie Nugent in 1990 where he worked at the Hawthorne Funeral Home during the funeral for her big oil executive husband. Apparently, Bernie was a very talented singer and performed a version of Amazing Grace that brought people to tears during the service. The friendship between Marjorie and the funeral home assistant would develop and soon they were inseparable even though the widower was at least 40 years older than Bernie. Rumors about the two of them were everywhere, despite the fact that Bernie gave strong indications that he was gay. The difference in personalities between them was impossible to ignore. Where Bernie was loved for his politeness, kindness, and generosity, Marjorie Nugent was described as an aggressive, rude bully who was downright mean. After only knowing each other for a year, Marjorie Nugent would go to a lawyer and alter her will, cutting out her only son and leaving her entire $10 million estate to Bernie Teed. In 1993, Bernie quit his job at the funeral home and worked for Marjorie full-time in various capacities, and they traveled to Asia, Europe, and Russia, among other places. With her money, he was able to buy his own house, even though they were always seen together at least until 1996, when Marjorie Nugent disappeared. Carthage, Texas's richest, meanest person, had been missing for nine months before anyone bothered to start looking for her. And during that time, Bernie had been spending Marjorie's money. According to his own sister, Bernie was a shopaholic. But not just for himself, he spent money on the whole town. He bought at least 10 cars for different people who couldn't afford them a house for a young couple that was struggling financially, and he helped friends of his open their own companies, fulfilling their dreams of becoming store owners. He bought everything he could for everyone he could. In 1997, when people asked about Marjorie Nugent's disappearance, Bernie told everyone that she was in a hospital for a stroke under an assumed name. Sheriff deputies would eventually attend her house and noticed that the freezer downstairs had been taped shut. That's where her body was discovered and that she had been shot four times in the back with a .22 rifle. Bernie Teed would admit to murder and when he was asked why, he said that she had become extremely hateful and possessive. Murdering for money isn't unheard of, but what happened afterwards was. A group of women tried to raise money to meet the $1.5 million bail bond. The local church began praying every Sunday for Bernie's well-being, and a steady stream of cakes, pies, and pastries were hand-delivered to the jail where he was incarcerated. People weren't upset about the crime, they were more concerned with how Bernie was doing during what was described as his terrible ordeal. Hollywood made a movie about the entire thing in 2011, starring Jack Black and Matthew McConaughey, titled Bernie. And as for Bernhard Teed, he's currently sitting in prison in Texas, ineligible for parole until 2029.